Hello there, Dakota the Douchebag here from Black Blaze Gaming. And I have a bit of a video I wanted to make today about some news I saw today that kind of perturbed me. And it was a, a, a quote from George Takei um, bashing the casting for the new Marvel Doctor Strange film. And he said, and I quote, so let me get this straight. You cast a white actress so you wouldn't hurt sales in Asia. This backpedaling is nearly as cringeworthy as, as the casting. Marvel must think we're all idiots. Further, he went on further to say, to those who say she is an actress, this is fiction. Remember that Hollywood has been casting white actors in Asian roles for decades now, and we can't keep pretending there isn't something deeper at work here. If it were true that actors of Asian descent were being offered choice roles in films, these arguments might prevail. But there has been a long-standing practice of taking roles that were originally Asian and rewriting them for white actors to play, leaving Asians invisible on the screen and underemployed as actors. This is a very real problem, not an abstract one. It is not about political correctness. It is about correcting systemic exclusion. Exclusion. Do you see? The difference. Mr. Takei, no, it is not. It is not about correcting systemic exclusion. It is about you trying to make a splash because you think you're fucking famous and trying to stay relevant. Because you are famous and you're trying to stay relevant. The thing is, you're sitting here bashing Marvel for whitewashing an Asian role in a film when they cast a white guy, Nick Fury, they cast him as a black actor in one of the biggest and most successful, mind you, superhero comic book movies ever made. Do you see the, the, the inherent problem with what you're saying? And you might go on to say, okay, well, casting a black person as a white character is not the same as casting a white person as an Asian character. And that's where I respond with, then you're the racist one, not Hollywood. Not Marvel, not the casting team for Doctor Strange. You're the racist one, Mr. Takei. And I, I understand you might try, you, you, your, your intentions are, 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 are real. You're, you're trying to advocate for Asian actors in the industry. What if she just played the role better? I mean, you're ignoring the fact that this character was originally a dude in the comics. And again, nor, ignoring the fact that there have been plenty of examples of, of you know, white comic book characters being portrayed by non-white people. But you're, you're just going to, to make these baseless arguments and expect us to, to take you seriously? Stop trying to be, be relevant by being a racist prick, George Takei. You're better than that, and we know that you're better than that. I mean... <laughs> Are, are you is this just some kind of like late in life anger, uh, teen angst because you didn't get the role of Captain Kirk in Star Trek? Instead, you played a side character. I mean, I don't want to I don't want to project here, but this just came, comes the fuck out of nowhere when there's so many roles that switch gender, switch ethnicity, and it's not based on any trends there's there's literally no pattern you can draw from this it's literally based on who plays the role the best they don't write the role for a white person and the only time i've ever seen anything like that done is maybe like in a movie about race for example mississippi burnings the the role of gene hackman is a white guy that's fighting white racists racists against black people white white people who are racist against black people it's a white guy fighting other white people it has a much more powerful statement because he's white. The role would never have been had come across quite as powerful if it was Samuel L. Jackson. And I'm sure he'd probably agree with that. Not that I know him personally, but it, it, like, honestly, that's how it works, right? The person who normally it's the person who plays the role the best. But sometimes you have to have a white actor. Sometimes you have to have a black actor. Like. The victims of the, of racism in Mississippi Burning couldn't be played by white people. They'd have to be played by black people. But that's one. Of, that's the only example, really, is 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 films about race, or I guess films that are trying to be historically accurate. Where I mean, it was mainly white guys in the military. You know, in the mid eighteen hundreds. <laughs> that's just how that was. Um, but. Beyond beyond that, I mean, a comic book movie can be any person playing the role. And this is the same kind of problem that cosplayers face that that people are like, oh, you you you, you white otakus, you can't play Asian characters at a convention that nobody 
cares about. I mean, I not, not that nobody cares. I mean, I love conventions and I love going going and hanging out with people of the same uh, the same influences as me. But I don't judge them based on what race they are. Only you do that, apparently. And social justice warriors. But, you know, no one really takes them seriously anyways, because that's, you know, that's what we do with people who don't make any sense or are trying to um, and are try failing to to make to, to really do any damage, which is what it seems like you're trying to do with this. OK, I, either try and stay relevant or, or, or try and change Hollywood, which obviously doesn't really need much changing. I, granted, I, I'm. I know very little about modern Hollywood and, and how much how much really goes on behind the scenes over there right now. But I think it's pretty clear that you are missing the point and you you are you you are the one projecting the race, the racism, not the casting team of Doctor Strange. And um, I really I really hope the Internet is merciful with you because Shit like this doesn't go down well. You're better than this, Takei. You're better than this. I'm Dakota the Douchebag, and you're watching the Black Blaze Gaming Channel. We'll see you next time. Bye!